Hello and welcome to the show. A live audience chanted, lock him up, as Hillary Clinton was questioned on the late show about the impeachment inquiry against Donald Trump. The former first lady, 71, was interviewed by Stephen Colbert along with her daughter Chelsea to promote their new book, The Book of a Gutsy Woman, Favorite Stories of Courage and Resilience. The CBS host introduced Clinton and he playfully tried to suggest that Trump should be locked up over his call to Ukraine and the crowd soon joined in. Clinton had previously been the target of lock her up chants by Donald Trump supporters at his rallies during the 2016 election. The whistleblower last week alleged that Trump tried to pressure Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky into investigating Joe Biden and his son Hunter Biden during a July phone call. With records of the call reportedly hidden on a private government server, Colbert said, We learned about the Trump Ukraine call, the private server. Is it time to, dare I say, lock him up? What do you make of it, Colbert added. The crowd then began to chant, lock him up, as Hillary and her daughter laughed before Hillary gave her thoughts on the issue. I created a monster, Colbert said of the chants. I apologize. Clinton then went on to say she believes that the impeachment inquiry is the correct course of action to take. She told Colbert, I believe strongly that this particular incident had such a huge impact because we had known for a long time that he was a corrupt businessman who cheated people. And we had known that he and his campaign asked for aid from Russia. We had known that, she continued. But to see him in the office of the president putting his own personal political interest ahead of the national security of our country just pierced through whatever confusion or denial people had. Clint she also praised Democratic House Speaker Nancy Pelosi for ordering an investigation into the claims against Trump, which were made by a whistleblower. Clinton continued, What does high crimes and misdemeanors mean, actually? She said while speaking of a document she wrote during the Nixon impeachment push. You can read it online, and there's a short two-page conclusion that lays out exactly what you were saying, someone who is using the office to subvert the Constitution, to undermine the oath that he took to protect and defend the Constitution and the American people. That's what falls right into the definition of an impeachable offence. Clinton also used the interview to celebrate the whistleblower, claiming he had a depth of understanding which needed to be taken seriously. Crowds at Donald Trump's rallies famously chanted, lock her up, in connection to Hillary Clinton when she was running against him during the 2016 presidential campaign. Over the weekend, in a separate interview, Clinton said, it doesn't bother her that Trump continues to bring her up during his campaign rallies, where the crowd still chants, lock her up, when her name is mentioned. He knows he's an illegitimate president, Clinton said. I believe he understands that the many varying tactics they used from voter suppression and voter purging to hacking to false, the false stories, he knows that. They were just a bunch of different reasons why the election turned out like it did. During the interview with Colbert, Hillary condemned Secretary of State Mike Pompeo for not intervening on the phone call between Donald Trump and the Ukrainian president. Shortly before filming, it emerged that he was listening in on the conversation where Trump asked Volodymyr Zelensky to investigate the son of political rival Joe Biden. Colbert asked Clinton, how many times when you were Secretary of State did you have to say to Obama, you can't extort foreign countries to get dirt on your political enemies? She laughed at the question before responding, yeah, that never happened. Clinton recalled the duties of the Secretary of State having previously served in the role from 20, 2009 until 2013 during Obama's first term. She explained that in the build-up to a call with the leader of a foreign nation, several heads of the department typically bring up talking points. I'm not sure that I've even given up on trying to give him any sorts of preparation because they don't know what he's going to say, Clinton added about Trump. She claimed that the White House may have tried to limit the extension of that phone call so that it wasn't shared with other people. Clinton add, added, They put it on a highly classified system that is used for the most important secrets like the Osama bin Laden raid. 
There is nothing classified in it. The president's behavior was at least embarrassing, if not illegal and impeachable. I think if the Secretary of State was on the call, as is now being reported, he should have been one of the very first people to just say, wait a minute, we've got to clean this up, you can't let that stand. But we don't know what he did. In another interview, Clinton also said that she doesn't accept that Donald Trump will receive another four years. I don't believe that will happen, she insisted. Trump earned 306 electoral college votes in 2016 to Clinton's 232. But Clinton, who won the popular vote, still argues against his legitimacy as a president, since she earned around 3 million more votes than him. Many Democrats who were on the fence about looking into removing the president from office have now issued calls for his impeachment following revelations of the nature of his phone call. Trump released on Wednesday an unredacted version of a transcript of his July 25th phone call and a sign of good faith that we, he should, he said would prove he never pressured Zelensky or threatened to withhold military aid unless the Ukrainian government probed the Biden's business dealings there. Hunter Biden accepted a board position with the Ukrainian natural gas firm Burisma Holdings in 2014, when his father was still serving as vice president. The move raised eyebrows in Washington as a severe conflict of interest, but the administration argued at the time that there were no issues since Hunter is a private citizen. Thank you.